a block, which is learning how the word friendship changes as you get older. I think you mean just how friendship changes, not the word friendship. No, because is it I, the word as well? Well, okay, yeah, it's two in one. <laughs> when I was a kid, a friend was like stone, man. Like to be like that's my. I, I'm in the same boat. Keep talking. It was like that's a that's my friend. That guy is my friend. Like that to me was like lifetime shit. Like, but then you learn as you get older that people will call you a friend when they're they're not. I mean, you know. People will say, like, I'm friends with Brennan. Yeah. You don't know that person. The people yeah. say that all the time. I the word itself is what I meant by that was it gets thrown around and it loses all meaning. Like well, it, out here it means dick. Yeah, but I think Hollywood, yes. But also like I learned it from my dad. Like my dad sometimes will say, You remember my friend, blah da 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 who so and so? And I'm like, You've talked you haven't talked to that guy in thirty two yeah. years. That's not your friend. That's a guy you. I knew. have a buddy and friend. I, I literally, the guy's a buddy of mine. See, I or like he's that. my friend. Yeah, but that would be more. That okay. That's that's more appropriate for an adult to be like, oh yeah, that guy's a buddy. Yeah, but I guess the word changed so much shape as I became an adult. Yes, and also our business, the business that we're in specifically, friend is such a. It's just changed. Pesos. So, pesos. Pesos. It's useless. It's like it's, almost yeah. useless. It is. It's it's out here. It's just it's the value. It's like love. When people go, I love. It's like you, it's you don't nothing. You have well, ruined it. Brilliant. The Hollywood yeah. has ruined the word brilliant. journey. Oh, journey. Journey. He's on a bunch journey. of fucking Vasco da Gama's out here. <laughs> it's, so many people on it's journeys. Bullshit. So it just has ruined the what I thought as a kid friendship as a core thing, and so now. I see when someone's like, who really is your friend? It's a very It's like I find it staggering. It is. Well, but it's but it's a wake up call a little bit to to the way that To what though? That's what I that so we had our, our very famous falling out. Yeah, yeah. And part of that was like, yo, I didn't feel like you were my definition of a friend. Yeah. And so it's not, and I'm not saying this like, so you're as guilty as any. What I'm saying is, and I overreact, meaning like, it's not my definition of a friend. Yes. So then I'm like, completely affronted. Right. Like, this is a total affront. And this is a, a I'm in free fall because I cannot, not free fall, but like, I can't believe, I don't want to learn the lesson. Do you know what I mean? Like, sure. I don't. Okay, so I now think friendships are shallow. Now what? Right. Is my life better because I'm very aware that it's how fucking shallow things are? No. I want us all to live in bunk beds. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I want you to use my shower. I want I do want to use your no, shower. No, but I like I want to live like when I've worked with people, it's like I want me and Dave to live in a bunk bed. Me and Mike sure to live in a bunk bed and me and fucking Derek Delgatti, who did my show to live in a bunk bed. And then when we don't, I'm not, again, we're all adults. So it's like, but when we don't, or when it's like, I, I, I still find it a little like, wait a minute. I thought we were all yeah. gonna go back to the dorm yeah. when that we, we all live we're in. We're not going to go eat. Yeah. Go like, what dorm? are we going to go play that's video games? It, but that's, I think it's a wake up call to the truth of, uh, <laughs> that we're all alone. That you're that you have to just value the 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 connections that you do make and be malleable with them because they will inevitably change. There's people that I'm very I was very very close with that I no longer speak to. Not for any detriment to our. Mm -hmm. It was just that's the way that life kind of did it, and I, I learned that. You I'm sure learn it. No, we, I haven't had it. <laughs> well, we don't have kids, and it's like my good friends with kids. The life dynamically changes; it's out of their control. And then, yeah, they, they should. It should. You know it that should. I believe. It's like, but yeah, you, but right. you don't know how to. You know, it, it just it happens the way it happens. I consider every child a friend has a betrayal. I do too. And they should. Give so them, thank you give for them. sticking with me. <laughs> I can't believe the things that have transpired in friendships where i'm like did that really happen yeah did that really i cannot believe that that happened and i don't the thing about i like 
uh, uh, the thing about being alone. I I spent the day reading. I spent yesterday reading, and I was like, I really like this. Yeah, it's nice. I really like it. <laughs> and uh, and I'm like, am I? Was I supposed to be? I mean, I have spent large portions of my life alone reading, but so when I do go outside for a friendship, I'm like, all right, well, but hopefully you, this but will you last like forever. It. Being alone or being in a friendship? No, you both. But I mean, you do like being alone. But you, I do really like, like being alone. But you do like friendship. I love friendship. That's what I'm saying. You, yeah, th- like I. This is a dumb thing to say, but some of the best moments of my life are with my friends. Of course. Yeah. But like you, I would argue, probably all of them or most of them. Oh, I would say all of them. Yeah. But, yeah, because, but that's why I think it's so weird or hurtful when you realize the truth of a relationship. Like I said this before, but I, there was a guy that I thought I was friends with, mm-hmm. and I said something to the effect of. That's one way. Oh, that's 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 one way to treat your friend. And he was like, "We're not friends." And I was like, "That's the fucking meanest thing. That's like the meanest shit anybody." When was this? A couple years ago. It was shocking, and it was in jest a little bit. But I know he. No, well, that's not in jest. No, no, no. There's literally not a tone. You know what I mean? Though he was being like, "Well, come on, we're not friends." We're not friends, right? I mean, well, yeah, I mean, we're chat buddies or whatever, right? And I was like, oh fuck, yeah. I mean, that was it, that one hurt. That one was weird. Not because it's like, oh, you're not my friend. It's more like, oh, I guess. Well, it's like, then what are we do? Like, yeah, what am I calling, texting you for, and like, yeah, thinking about you. Yeah. Why Think, am I thinking about you? Yeah. Why am I considering you but I don't in anymore. my life? That's okay. It, 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 that's okay. I was okay with it. I just, I was a little off. I was put off by it where I was like, oh man, I'm fucking, I guess my conception, my perception of this was odd, particularly because we had communicated often enough where you'd be like, yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a friend. We've, we've done things together, you know, but does that person have friends? No. Well, no, not really. No. I just assume like I cracked the code. You know what I mean? Like right. we're cool. We're very cool. We enjoy where if you text me without me texting you, I assume you're interested in some form of relationship. Yeah. I, I get I would assume. Yeah. But especially if it's not business driven. If it was just business right, right, right. driven, totally different. I understand that. This was not. So uh, that's unusual. It was on you unu- that's unusual, that kind of stuff. And so I just I guess it, you just learn what that term means and what friendship is as you get older. And that's, it's hard for me to grasp. The reason it's a block is because I'm, it still is hard for me that I'm like, oh man, I, I thought this was more important. Like I thought friendship was more important. Yeah. But like I just like, it's not, we keep using the shower thing, but I'm saying like, yeah, there's, you're just on the list. Like you're just in the, yeah, in you're the rotation, on the baby. fucking, but it's more than the rotation. It's like, I have a tablet, like yeah. a rock, like a Moses tablet. <laughs> it's gone. And there's just like, there's certain people It's like, yeah, you're on it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, why? I don't even know sometimes. But it just is. You just are on the, you're just on this tablet. And and then when I find out I'm not on your tablet or you don't even have a tablet, I'm like, why did I, like, what do you, what's your orientation of life to the, I'm talking to the person like, so what do you, I, I was talking to a guy one time, a comedian friend of mine, and he was like a really good friend. I'm getting, And I go, I go, are we all, yeah, I was talking about comedy. I was like, are we all friends or is this entirely transactional? He goes, I think it's entirely transactional. I was like, <sighs> that's heavy. That's, I don't know. I know. And I said it yesterday. I was arguing, not even arguing with somebody. We were just talking about the definition of friendship. Like, how are we defining this? And I said, look, I, I'm, I'm kind of, I guess I'm like a friend drama queen. Um, uh, like do, are we friends or not? Like, cause I think about you and then I go, well, maybe we're not friends and maybe like so-and-so said it's all transactional. It's like, it's not transactional. I love you. I just, I just am bad with you know, X and trying to, that's okay. And he's like, and I imagine you have so many friends. I was like, I don't have so many friends. No, no. You hear the tone of the no. I mean, the volume and the tone of that. No, that is true. Was, uh, was eviscerating, but you know why it's because you don't No, you're taking it the wrong way. It's because you don't, you don't have friends that you're not going to dedicate a real relationship to. 
that's a thing that you do too when you're growing up is you're like, well, I don't want to mislead somebody into thinking that we're real good buddies yeah. if truly we don't have that connection. That's just value. I think that's more valuable than than having all the friends. He's, got, he's friends with everybody. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. like, that's bullshit. Yeah. Just core the thing that matters. Then the people that you are friends with, it means something. You know? I, like, this. I'm not taking a shot, but it bothered me so much when Sebastian did Seinfeld's Cars and Coffee. I don't know. Maybe it was the second time he did it. I know mm -hmm. he did it more than once. But he said something to the effect of, um, who's your best friend? Sebastian said that to Seinfeld. Now, I know this is a Seinfeldian answer. I'm not, It's not lost on me. He That he was like, best friend? Who has best friends? That yeah, yeah. I get it. I know the Seinfeldian of it all. But then he continued to kind of go into beyond the bit of like, it's a ridiculous question. We're we're old men. I have my wife. Yeah. And, you know, he, the. Well, no wife will let you have a best friend. <laughs> but I, but, but what bothered me about it was after the comedy is over, I, a piece of me could tell that it was like Seinfeld was truly saying, like, I don't have fucking time for friends. Like I, the fucked up thing is, he talks to a guy named Barry Marner every day on the phone for two hours. So his best friend. Yeah, yeah. It's and funny. he has for for decades. And perhaps that was a per thing. He, it was a bit. I know it was. Yeah. A bit. It was, it, but like, also, there was a like a I don't know like a darkness to it about Seinfeld that was like having friends is a little stupid. No, I I know what you mean. I don't. I think he's doing a bit because he, he, he literally talks to a guy on the phone every day. He must. For hours like a like a 10-year-old boy does. Um but that that but be, that shows my you know. It's a funny thing because I've never heard another man bring this up. The importance of it. Yeah. And the value of it. Yeah. And like no, I need people that I can count on, not even like my emergency contact. It's like it's uh, whatever the category is like i don't need you to come to my rescue when it's like well that's who your real friends are when the stuff gets hard yeah no i just mean like people that i know emotionally i could i could see in a lot paul bears paul Be yeah who's gonna carry me when i'm dead? yeah literally my paul bears like yeah. who are they who's gonna that's right yeah that's what i'm looking for and like are you in yeah, are you in, dude? Yeah, like, are you, <laughs> are you like, in? are you gonna fucking carry my dead body or right, not? Like, right. I, and I'm happy for it to last that long. Yeah, totally. Like, that's how long I would like it to last. But just tell me if you don't have strong arms. Look, tell me. I can. We can get like wheels. 